So, let's talk about TF2 and why it's better than Overwatch. It's no secret that a lot of people think Team Fortress 2 died with the release of Overwatch, but it still has a very dedicated community and a large active player base for a nearly 10 year old game. Though it has been through some pretty rough times, I really think Team Fortress 2 excels in many areas that Overwatch falls flat in. TF2 started with three game modes. Capture the Flag, Control Points, and Territorial Control, and updates have added 12 more, consisting of Payload, Arena, King of the Hill, Payload Race, Medieval Mode, Special Delivery, Man vs. Machine, Robot Destruction, Manpower, Pastime, Player Destruction, and whatever Snowplow qualifies as. Overwatch has four in the current competitive cycle, Assault, Escort, Hybrid, and Control, plus the mess of game mode in the arcade, in which you can't even play all the modes, it revolves around what the developers want you to play. TF2 keeps most of its alternative game modes as part of its core game, which adds a level of variety, especially when most of these game modes have at least 4 maps, it keeps you from getting as easily bored as you do in Overwatch. Not to mention, in Overwatch, you can't even choose what maps you want to play. I counted this as a fault in Team Fortress 2 when comparing it to Overwatch, and while there is no doubt, Overwatch's cosmetics are easier to understand. But once you do learn TF2's inventory system, it's a blast to make every loadout different and experimenting with new combinations. Most of the time, TF2 has no one gun that's superior. In most cases, all of the guns you get are side grades, which make one thing stronger but another a fair bit weaker. So it really comes down to what you like better. When it comes to actual cosmetics, there are a ton of hats, and I mean a ton. Some that can only be worn on certain classes, some that apply to all, and then you can even paint them whatever color you want the hat to be. There's also weapon skins in the vein of CSGO, Australian weapons you can get from playing TF2's PvE mode on harder difficulties, and taunts, which are basically little dances your character can do. Some of these are basically useless, but others are amazing and tell you a lot about their characters. And then we have the partner taunts, which make it so anyone, on either team, can dance, play rock paper scissors, high five, and a number of other options. They add a lot of value to the game, these taunts. Anyways. All that and trading takes you into the weird side of TF2 servers, which really is a chance game. But sometimes it's really nice to see what the community is up to. Speaking of... Full disclosure, this is focusing on the community aspect of TF2's gameplay, not the fan base themselves. TF2 offers fans a chance to design weapons, cosmetics, and maps. Of course there's the oranges, the minecrafts, and the fairly bizarre custom maps, but they're all fun, adding more reason to play the game. Overwatch has 20 maps, not including events. TF2 has over 100 official maps and plenty more community based ones. Also TF2 has a cavalcade of custom game modes that people have come up with just seeing what they can do. To name a few, there's dodgeball with the pyro, times 10 which looks at everyone's weapons, weaknesses, and strengths and multiplies them by 10. And my personal favorite, Jailbreak, where several people have to listen to the warden or be killed. The prisoners have to find ammo with, for their guns and start a revolt, or be the last prisoner left alive to win. The ability to create your own weapons or game modes adds a lot to TF2's incredible library of things to do. PvE game mode of TF2 is far superior to anything that Overwatch has. Especially considering you can play Man vs. Machine at any time, where Overwatch has its PvE delegated to events. And frankly, it feels half-baked and like they're just reskinning characters to be enemies. Man vs. Machine has a system of cash and using that everyone can upgrade their weapons. And then there's Man Up, which is the Overwatch competitive of Man vs. Machine. In these, you do harder rounds in order to get rare weapons or killstreak kits. TF2 obviously has a lot of care in their PvE, and that's why a lot of people have gone on over 300 tours looking for golden weapons. While these last couple arguments have been fairly opinionated, it is clear that TF2, objectively, has a much higher mechanical skill ceiling than Overwatch. To keep things simple, every action that requires a lot of time, planning, and knowledge of your character in Team Fortress 2 is simply a button press in Overwatch. That gives TF2 a higher learning curve, which I think is good to a game like this. Overwatch and TF2 both have a storyline presented in comics and shorts outside of the game, but Team Fortress 2 does a better job of using the game and story together to keep the lore interesting. 
All gameplay in Overwatch, except for the Uprising event, is non-canon. Most of the characters haven't met each other in the lore, and the games you play and the stories you read are almost entirely unrelated. In Team Fortress 2, all of the games you play can technically be considered canon, since the mercenaries have fought each other on multiple occasions. And in the comics, all of the mercenaries have been seen with the most of the weapons and cosmetics in-game. And this is where TF2's charm comes from. TF2 knows what it is, two sets of the same mercenaries fighting each other on a daily basis over worthless gravel pits in the middle of the desert. It's absurd and stupid, yet the game embraces it. TF2 isn't a serious shooter where every character has their own motive. Everyone is batshit crazy in their own way, and that's why TF2 is as big as it is. The world they've built for it really makes it special. They both are amazing games, and it seems where one falls flat, the other excels quite nicely. I've never felt that it's one way or the other, just that they are different games that should be able to coexist. Paladins, however? That's another video for sure. But where they are now, TF2 and Overwatch, are both really enjoyable, and I still have so much fun playing with my friends. Whenever I don't play one for a while, I'm always really excited to come back to it. Believe it or not, they can coexist, guys. But that being said, I've been RV Rocks. Thanks for watching. See ya!